What's up, Internet? Um, hi. So you clicked on this video and you wanted a story. We got a story for you. <laughs> We've got a pretty rocking story should for you. Should we tell them the story? I think we should. Should we tell them the story? It's a pretty cool story. It all kind of starts with the fact that my birthday was yesterday, April 5th. Yes. And Colleen flew to Branson, because that's where we are, performing in Branson for the next couple of months. And she flew here for my birthday. It's a pretty big birthday. I went to his show, watched him perform, and then we came back to the hotel, and I had set up balloons and streamers and birthday presents. And then we went to dinner together, and uh, we had a nice steak dinner. It was very romantic. And then I got a phone call randomly during dinner, yeah. and it was my buddy Samsky, who's in the group. And Samsky was like, oh, hey, Josh. You know, we're at the theater and they said that we can go into the theater and have a few drinks and hang out for your birthday so that we don't have to go to a bar or something. It's a nice kind of controlled, chill environment. I was like, yeah, cool. Let's, let's go to the theater and just hang out with the guys a little bit. So after dinner, we headed to the theater and it was empty and dark. We got there and he opened the doors. We had to pry the doors open because it was closed. And we got into the theater and it was pitch black. Like... Pitch black, dark, nobody in there, and I was terrified. I was like, I don't want to go in there. It's, I'm very scared of the dark. And so I told Josh, I was like, hold my hand if we have to walk through the theater. He's like, yeah, we just have to go backstage, so let's go through the theater. So we walk down the center aisle of the theater. And Which was lit by little tiny lights yes. going all the way down to the very, very uh, front of the stage. But again, it was pitch black. You couldn't see anything. No. And then I was like, oh, th there's a laptop at the front of the stage what is that so I hit the space bar and it started to play a video hi Colleen you look beautiful and if I haven't told you that at least 10 times within the last couple of hours Josh you need to get on your game bro and tell her she's beautiful thank you secondly Colleen I'm a little curious did you resist when I asked you to come into the theater did you already know or did you play along because here's my hunch, you know exactly what's about to happen, and you've probably already known for a while that I would probably do it today. Yes, today is a big day, it's my birthday, it's a big birthday, but something even bigger is gonna happen tonight, right now. You know, I try to surprise you, but it's really a difficult thing to do. That being said, tonight is happening, whether it's perfect or not, because that's what life is. It's not perfect, but your life, is about to change. And there are a few people that have something to say about that. So let's listen to what they had to say. Hi, Colleen. We love you and we miss you. Hey, Colleen. Welcome from Georgia. Ha ha, gotcha. Hi, Colleen. This is gonna be really awkward. Hello, oh, that's close that. Is you okay? Is you good? Because I want to know. I is okay. Hey, guys. Uncle Gary calling in from Las Vegas, Nevada. Hi, Auntie Panties. I love you. Hello, Colleen and Josh. I am the love angel. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Josh. I'm sorry I can't be there on your special night. It's about time you're Mrs. T Cow, Colleen. So a lot of our friends and family had something to say, specifically to Colleen, because something big was about to happen on my birthday, but for her. <laughs> So at the very end of the video, Josh popped back up on the screen, and this is what happened. Colleen, I know you hate being told what to do, but if you don't mind, for me, please take my hand and follow me onto the stage. I always plan everything out, even what to say, and I haven't done that this time, because I just want to talk. Um, we've been through a lot, and you're still the one that I want, and I can't promise you a lot of money. <laughs> I can't promise you a lot of things. I can promise you me. Every day. 
I just love you. I've been in love with love my whole life, but um, I found something that I'm more in love with than that, and that's you because you're real. You're not a story. You're not a movie. And um, I'm only doing this one time in my life, and it's for you. So, <laughs> that being said, Queen Mae Ballinger, would you do me the absolute honor of spending the rest of your life with me? And will you marry me? Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Is that all right? That's so pretty. Yeah. I hope it fits. <laughs> it's so tight. It's oh, perfect. Oh, there we go. Oh it did my fit. God. Choose you. I'll always choose you. Cause in my mind, you will stay here always. In love, you and I, you and I. You and I You and I